Hello everybody, I've just come from a very stressful game of Blood Bowl myself, but here we are ready to do the official cast of the round of 32 tiebreaker between Olivier Dulac and Jay Leave. Um, a very exciting match, bright yellow Wood Elves versus a very nice cream and burgundy All World Alliance team. Um, somehow Jay Leave has taken this to a third game, but in, in the end it's, it's ODL has because Jay Leave won the first game. And uh, after getting blitzed on, a tackle is stunned and a war dancer catching the ball, he somehow won that first game. And then Olivier won the second game with high pressure defence after a, a, an amazing halfling one turn again. And now, surely Olivier has won the toss here, chosen to receive. And uh, yeah, two amazing halfling throws have kept kept Jay Leave in this against all odds, I would say. I would say, you know. Um, the, the Wood Elves are very favoured versus All World Alliance. But what we haven't had in these in these two games is like the All World Alliance killing everything they touch. And if that happens, it's going to be very tough for Olivier. Olivier qualified through the French League. Oh my God. Vente de gob. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Jerry is French, obviously. Jerry is American and qualified through TRBBL. And uh, yeah, I'm very stressed now, so I might be a little bit quiet. I might try and get a drink of water or something first because flip me, what a game! It's it's unbelievably stressful. I do absolutely do not blame everybody making slight misplays in these games because flip me, um, I'm sure I just made a few. It's very difficult. Ah, but Would it help Jimmy if I speak for a bit and let you go get a drink and calm down? I can that, come in and, uh, and sub you out for a minute. That would be fantastic. Thank you oh very much. Hello, Miss Tree. tree. Down. <laughs> I, Miss Bell Tree arrives in stream and, and a tree on the line. Uh, I didn't see, was it a three dice? Um, I, I, screen check. I'm currently I, looking on your screen. <laughs> I, I've got no idea because I, uh, I was just doing this. It was a triple both down. Amazing. Oh. Good thing it's got jump up. Uh, if you could screen share for me so I'm not behind, that'd be amazing. Yep, I'm, I, here we go. Thank you very much. Right, I shall now, uh, I shall now take a few minutes to maybe calm my shattered nerves. <laughs> you right, thank you. I don't blame you. No worries. Thank you very I much. I thought, just a total glory hunter, basically. I saw this game and I was like, I can't miss it because I watched the two games, um, one live and the second one on replay on Jimmy's stream and they were both such ridiculously good games um i think both of them played really really well in both of them obviously like jay done amazingly to do it as uh, well as he has with the owa but i do think um odl uh as everyone's been calling him olivier did a fantastic job in that second game as well playing knowing he needed to win and i'm not i'm going to say this while jimmy's away because he can't disagree with me because he's disappeared i'm not convinced this matchup is as bad as jimmy thinks it is for the owa i think that it does rely on the removals it does definitely rely on that. But you've got two block Mighty Blow pieces with the um, Troll Slayer and the Ogre. And uh, you've got a mobile tackle piece to hunt dodge with. So personally, I think this matchup is not um, not the worst for OWA. But then I would say that because I lost j OWA during the group stage. So of course I would say that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say the Bron about Jimmy's result because I don't know what order he's putting these on YouTube but um maybe chat will tell you I don't know if I'm supposed to like I don't know if he's putting them up in order on YouTube or what um I suppose he kind of acknowledged it right then at the start um he didn't lose he he drew I'm just gonna say it and I'll tell him when he'll have to look at his YouTube afterwards I think he might have said it anyway when he came in because he was talking about being stressed out from his game so jump up tree doing some work uh immediately there for uh, Olivier. So some upside there after the one in 27 knockdown. Get straight back up and just face up to uh, to Dwarfs. Fails a pickup. Only two rerolls. You probably can't reroll that, but you're giving up more Mighty Blow hits because of it. It's a pretty rough start for Olivier. Um, I guess this is a two reroll build. I actually haven't... Oh my god, he put the reroll in and snaked it. Wow. Well, this is really a rough start now for Olivier because that means the Troll Slayer is still getting the free Mighty Blow hit here. 
We're getting another hit here, in fact. Well, you could surf it, but you'd probably... Well, maybe... Caleb does not hate a surf. I could I could see this being a surf. Push, push, and then bring the blitz in. Might be an overcommitment for a lineman, but if you can get the elves down to nine or even eight, if the mighty bow kicks in here, pretty, pretty punchy start to the drive. Uh, the ogre has been going bonehead two games out of two, which, um, of course, uh, also happened in Jada's game against Strider. Didn't happen against me. Just going to note that. Ogre was very well paved against me, but against Strider did lots of ones. Um, but yeah, I think uh, getting the removal train going is definitely a big part of the OWA plan here. Uh, no surf on this one because we've diced ourselves by rolling pals. Um, ourselves being JLev. But yeah, super, super rough start for Olivia. This is not nice at all um, for the Wood Elves to be this much on the back foot on turn two of their drive um, and to have spent half their rerolls. Um, I, again, I missed the start, so I don't know if Olivier had already spent one on turn one. I, I assume he's just got the two reroll build because um, he hasn't got the throw with leader, which is how I got my third reroll. Um, so all of that, and we still have our blitz. Um, bringing this round first, I like. You can hit the Frenzy Ward Answer, which is what he's going to do, or you could have gone for a catch. Definitely the Frenzy Ward Answer, because you don't want to hit the side step here at all. And with a knockdown here, you've really split the Wood Elf offense right in half. This is a very, very rough spot for the Wood Elves. Oof. He's got to tag the catcher, right? Rush, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, lovely rush. So right after you left, Olivier snaked at the pickup. I don't know, didn't know if he was going to put in the reroll for it, but he had oh, player space, so he put in the reroll and snaked it. So Olivier is off to an absolutely horrendous start. Wow. Um, yeah, one reroll left and very much on the back foot. I suppose the only silver lining is there was only one removal when there was a lot of hits that turn, so it could have been worse. Yeah. Uh, did the, also the tree must have rooted right when it tripled when it tripled down because that's that's the animation like thing you know like when it oh, yeah, when it, so roots. it rooted knocked itself <laughs> down but then it jumped up to go and <laughs> what would have been a great jump up and facing two dwarfs except for then everything else went wrong and so one of the dwarfs was able to to block off anyway so yeah Oof. very very bad start for the wood elves i go honestly with only one reroll now the rest of this drive is super stressful yeah i mean the next turn is super stressful to be fair the ball's on the floor i don't like this from uh jay leave i'd rather one back right with a blitzer to stop the two plus out for the dancer yeah but the two plus out is not the direction you want to be traveling it's not, but two pluses are, are much better than three pluses, aren't they? Yeah, they just are. <laughs> I just don't know why you're aiming to end the ball this turn. Like, if you blitz all the way back here with the ward answer, you have to get a how or the push directions wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. God. Yeah, you yeah, probably had to blitz with a... Um, it's got a rush and everything. No, it's not a rush. Was that, it, wasn't it wasn't a rush. I miscounted. Yeah, yeah. I miscounted. But still didn't get the knockdown, though, so it's not great. No. Mm. Oh. I don't know who picked the ball up from here. Oh, you bring this back and take a second hit on that and then pick the yeah, ball up. Yeah, catch catcher. The... Catcher's here. Okay, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah, and then this catcher's yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> okay, the getting the lockdown is pretty big, but this still doesn't feel great, does it? it it's not great. It's not great, but it's uh, it's not a disaster. It, it, it's maybe a disaster if it fails the pick up, I guess. Yeah, I think if he doesn't power there, it's really bad as well. So the power there is pretty helpful. Yeah. Um, the other thing with the two plus dodge on this frenzy ward answer is you've then got to move far enough that that troll there can't serve you. Oh, I mean, you're, you're faster than him even after standing <laughs> oh, up. <that's> true. <laughs> you just run all the way to here, right? This is, this is where yeah, you go. So. Yeah, well, run another one. Why not? Oh. <sighs> My God. I wasn't sure if because someone asked about your score, Jimmy. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say it or not because of what order you, what you upload for YouTube in, but also I don't know if you kind of said it at the start anyway. Um, yes, no, uh, it's fine. Yeah, um, it was a it was a one one draw, so um, at least I didn't lose. Uh, <laughs> I feel I feel quite bad. I can't believe you didn't cage here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, uh to dodge. No, I, I, he's got this as good, right? One, two. See, I think he didn't move that ward answer because he didn't want to get served by the frenzy. But yeah, this now feels like it's just open. 
Mm. Yeah, I guess he could have double rushed surfed him, couldn't he? You could have rushed mm. with him at the end to not get surfed. Guaranteed not get surfed. Why well, now he's gone closer. Now he, because now he's definitely hittable. That's just a two dice hit. That's not yeah. even hard. Yeah, no, Olivia made it easy. Oh my god, this tree. <laughs> he came off himself. <laughs> he dove schooled into a self KO. Wow. These have been some dice. Wow. Do you apple this? He's thinking about it, isn't he? He is, yeah, has he done, yeah. I guess the jump up makes the apple better, right? Yeah. That's a rough one to use your apple on, though. You really don't want to spend it on that. No. <clears throat> I mean, Jellyf has to hit the ball now, right? He just has to. There's no, there's no choice about yeah. hitting the ball here. It's just, like, weirdly easy to as well. Yeah. I mean, the problem is he's all-world alliance. So it's a double rush with a loner, so it's not it's not great, but it's pretty but good. He, and he's even got like it's not amazing recovery, but that catcher on the right could could recover and score immediately. Like that's not impossible. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh dear me. Like that could just scatter into the end zone and be a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Um, is jump up really a good idea? I, I don't think it is, because it, it cost him two skills, right? Which is like mm -hmm. two dodge off line, on linemen, and he's only got two re-rolls. Or it's cost him a leader, like, thrower. So, like, whatever it's cost him, it's it's cost him a lot to that jump up. So, I'm yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. Ogre finally joins in, it's taken three turns. <laughs> That's typical for JLE's Ogre, isn't it? <laughs> Not against me, it bloody wasn't, but yes, everyone else has been crap. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. He's had a lot of hits, to be fair. He's had a lot of hits. I mean, because Olivier's dice have been so bad, but yeah, he has had a lot of hits. Mm. Yeah, this you see, Ru Remember the first game in this series, right? Oh, went for the dodge. That is spicy. I suppose you're trading a 3 plus dodge for the 3 plus loner if it fails the rush, because this way you can now blitz from a square closer. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, look! A little <laughs> well alliance. Brilliant. <laughs> Who could have predicted this? I do think he should have moved the Slayer forward, right? One, two, three, four, five. Slayer could have come in. Thrower could have come in. But I guess they're doing something up here, aren't they? But wow. All World Alliance. Oh, dear. They're so bad. They're so bad, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Trey. I know you I know you did lose a game to them. Um, but, like, they're so bad. They're so bad. Well, the thing bad. is, they're bad when things fail. And against me, things didn't fail. But yes, they are bad when they uh, things go wrong. Yeah. Like every team. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely swung things back a bit, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. The problem. The problem, and this is this is a problem of them, like beyond the line. It's a problem now for Jaleb is that blitz. You just move away from it, and it's probably not relevant for the whole drive because it's too slow. Yeah. But having said that, the way this has started, I would not rule out some more ridiculous things happening because every single turn has been bonkers so far. Yeah, and on this, what I don't like about Olivier's build is the two rerolls, right? He's, I, he's, I think he's the only Wood Elf team with two rerolls. Everyone else who's got two has got a leader thrower, and he's just got two mm -hmm. rerolls, no leader, and he's he's got less dodge than everybody else as well because he's, uh, you know, he's given up two dodge to give the to give the jump up on the tree so he's got the least dodge and the least re-rolls so it's a it is a very dicey team i mean it hasn't <laughs> it's been dicey this game but not in that yeah. regard but overall it is a dicey build uh, but he, i love the i love the two side steppers for like and, and the frenzy for the one turn and that. Yeah, yeah i think i said this to you somewhere else like after after that um second game between them because i i don't like this build when i look at it i think you're wasting skills. It could just be dodge on linemen. I think that's generally what you want more of. Um, and uh, and I think I made that mistake as well, taking guard on my team. I think just more dodge was more was was, was better. Um, but having seen how Olivier played it on defense when he needed to win that second game, 
the jump up tree and the side step catches did combine to let him play in that very aggressive way he likes to play. So I, I still don't think it's the build I like, but I also like see it slightly differently as like, okay, but well, this is an Olivier build kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's absolutely fine. I, I think the side step catches are great, actually great, right? Because yeah. then you've got a stand firm and you've got two side step. It's just the jump over the line that I don't get behind. And, uh, oh, GG, oh, go, go, Amber. Bear. Oh, Amber, Amber, Amber. Amber. Oh, I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Armbar would have Again, been did something against me. Snake into a cast <laughs> because of Armbar. Thank you. <laughs> all, the, all the OWA tricks works against me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if literally everything works and they remove half your team, they're a good team. I mean, every team's a good team if it removes half your team. But, uh... Mm. Whew. Yeah, GG go go bay, well played. As I'm so stressed, I'm literally so stressed right now. I I can barely, my brain can barely function right now. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on tree because this is like an amazing game as well, right? The decider of this two epic matches so far, and uh... yeah, I said right after you left, I'm just like a glory hunter. I was like, I don't want to miss this game, so <laughs> let Jim do all the hard work doing every single game to show up for the one which I was like, oh, I want to watch this one. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, no, I've, I've watched those. Um, oh. You've done an amazing job. But it's, um, it's. I don't know how how you managed to do them all, and I've struggled to find the time this uh, last couple of rounds. So, when I can, I try and come in and help. Thanks. Oh. Is it better for Jilly to push a fall back to the loss? I think. Yeah, I think Jilly. I think he probably has to push right because because Olivier has got so few rerolls. And the problem is he does have like four catches, right? Like K folks, so he's got six dodge, so he's. Actually, a lot of people don't have that many catches, so he hasn't got that much less dodge than normal builds. Um, so he has got a fair bit of dodge, and Jaleeb's only got one tackle. Um, I don't know, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I kind of agree with Dimmy that, ooh, nice pal. On paper, over time should suit the OWA because removal's more likely, and also um, those two rerolls won't refresh for overtime. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the great thing is, of course, Jaylee won't want to use any rerolls because he's all of his guys have got low now. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. Not <laughs> bits of a tackle. He's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump up trees about to go thing. Jump up trees about to go and base something. Yeah, misery. yeah. Which the tackler. <laughs> the tackler, in fact. Uh, only if it rushes. Well, he's gonna he's gonna blitz the tackle, I would assume. Oh, it's he's rooted anyway. He's not gonna base anyone. You'll do that's the, not. That's the real problem with putting a skill on a tree is that you, you root it and then you've spent two skills on a player that's that can't move. Like I know you quite like going without the tree altogether. I like the tree, but I just think adding more onto it when it can do that to you is is like too much investment i think yeah yeah i don't like putting skills on like croxagors or ogres really never mind a tree that is phased out a lot easier so yeah no i'd really hate the jump up i don't mind the tree at all actually i, I i've historically gone trees i was just thinking of uh you know with k-fog saying about going for going pushing for the win and you're more able to do that with more elves aren't you and 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 people like you're more easily able to quick score with with elves like the tree isn't helping you two turn or three turn so yeah. he's 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 uh like what's what's the word <laughs> dissuading there's a better word he, he's like you know like he's he's like protecting against the quick scores better uh, like you know by having more elves makes people want to mm. quick turn quick score less so um yeah oh. that's definitely true i'm trying to work out where olivia wants to go here i mean i guess just behind the tree but yeah. You can still just about do. It's a little tight. Yeah. Can you actually? The positioning of the catcher is a little awkward. It is a little awkward. He really did want to uh, move the tree, didn't he? Yeah. Hand off to the tree, let's go. You win the game, don't you, if you hand off to the tree? I've played a game before where the ball got scatter caught on the tree and it did just root but then hold the ball for like six turns and hand it off in time to score afterwards which was great <laughs> that's pretty great yeah oh. I really don't know where he's going I think I'm slightly worried for Olivia that he's already used a couple of minutes of time bank on turn five but 
Yeah, I mean, this is hard, though, isn't it? At the end of the day, yeah. you've, you've got to use the time bank when it's difficult, and this is this is the difficult part of the drive. Mm. It's already turn five as well, so you don't want to go too slowly. True, true. There's all the time as well, potentially, so, yeah. Mm. Maybe just blitz the troll slayer now and take that space on the side instead. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing, yeah. Oh, must kill him. Must kill him to have based the tackle and then not blitzed it. Yeah. Heartbroken. <laughs> Heartbroken, <laughs> Olivia. Let me just freeze up one more. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is pretty strong. I just think he really wanted to hit the tackle, didn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Howl Surveillance, it's looking pretty good for for Olivier because he has Wood Elves and Did Jay Leaf has a World Alliance. <laughs> but the drive has gone really well for Jay Leaf. The drive has gone, yeah, that was a wild, that was a wild block. I feel like I'd almost prefer to have red dice one of the humans because at least if you're doing it that way and you do get it, because the human's going to rejoin the defense, right? Whereas that dwarf isn't. Yes. Yes, I guess that's why I hit the dwarf, right? Because now the dwarf can only go one. Yeah, I guess I was thinking the dwarf was already far enough away, but maybe you're right. Yeah. Um, maybe you're right. Oh, flip me. Um, Please come in for Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it did start horrendously for Olivia, but he seems to have negotiated it now. Three turns left, one reroll's fine with three turns to play. Like, turn one, it was horrible, right? He had one reroll for the whole drive. The tackle was in his face. The, the frenzy was near the sideline. Everything looked horrible. Now he's he's got past a few of the, uh, a few of the OWA and... Do you consider blitzing with the tackle here as Jayla just to free it up again? Because... On the one hand, you've got a free hit, but on the other, you are going to leave it behind a little bit, which you don't want. I, th I think you have to uh, slay a blitz and, okay. and just punch with a tackle there. Slay a blitz first, and then so he, do he doesn't get you on the sidestep if you don't push, but if you only push. But J. Leaf has no such qualms, he will obviously pal. <laughs> <laughs> he has rolled one pretty costly double skull, to be fair. <laughs> that was a rough double skull into. Uh, Comedy OWA Lone Fail. That was hilarious, yeah. <laughs> this troll there has to rush on the second hit, which he doesn't need. Yep. See, and this suddenly doesn't look great again. No, no, not, not fantastic. Not fantastic, but good enough, I think. I mean, you're one dicing out at the front. Uh, one into and the an uphill. Is one into a uphill because you're frenzy, yeah. yeah. Unless you come back, but if you come back, you're on turn six already. Yeah. Like you, c you can come back to the middle through that dwarf. It's just then you've got a really long way to go in two turns. Or you dodge one dice with the with the journey with the lineman, sorry, at the front, which is just a straight three plus. For the blitz. Yeah, it's it's tricky. I think this is this is why I hate two two re rolls. You just desperately want the safety of an extra re roll here, don't you? Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I I, I mean I hate two re rolls on my dark elves. It meant I couldn't do anything on defense except just you know boring screen forever. I hated it. I, I actually hate having two re rolls. I kind of regret making the making the build how I made it. Yeah, I I just think elves are, you get the most out of them when you can play aggressively and with the multiple re rolls per turn. There's a lot of options for doing that, aren't there? Yep. Having said that, we are coming back to the middle. Yeah, I think this was the play. The others looked... The other options looked a bit rubbish. Mm. Get so there to really use the tree I need again. to speak less about what they could do, shouldn't I? Because we're on the cast and in theory people could listen. Yes, I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm, you... I'm yeah, sure be vague. Are, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, be <laughs> vague. He could move up here, he could move about the middle, I think is fine, because, yeah. I mean, that is the two places, the two ways he can move, but, yeah, maybe not. He could move this guy here and do this, try to, try to, yeah, forego the details a little bit. 
<laughs> Rerolls are for double skulls and your blitzers. Yeah, okay, Fog. Make it up 20, 20 blocks and three dub skulls is not good, is it? It's a dog to the dog. It's kind of two, two sides of the coin, though, isn't it? On the one hand, yes, there could have been a lot more removals with the amount of hits the Wood Elves have taken. On the other, they took half of those hits because of a snake on turn two, so... Um, mm. It's a... Uh, and before that, the tree going one in 27. So it's like, it's, it's yeah, six of one, half a dozen, I guess. Yep. Question here is, it's Jay Leave, do you have five armbar. plus? Ooh. Armbar did break armor. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you five plus for the 2D? Into <laughs> no recovery at all? Jay Leave's not afraid of a hard dice. I'll say that. Mm. He's definitely not afraid of rolling the hard dice. I don't know if you need to. I think you can just get back in front of this again. Do you? Oof. I think you definitely can't, but we'll okay. see what he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get my, yeah. This looks like he's going for it. Oh, you could, you could, you could run all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Oh, you could. So that he doesn't have to do the five, and then that gives him a better push direction. But then I mm. guess there is the tree, but the direction's good. Yeah, I think I like that better. And not a loner. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Into potential recovery. Yeah. No. Mix it with a bit of safety seems sensible. <laughs> Didn't he? Olivier avoiding the TTM halfling score by not scoring. <laughs> That's the, that is the best way to avoid it, yeah. You can guarantee no, uh, no halfling score then. <laughs> hey, the tree's being a screen. The tree's doing something, right? Like It, it is good. The, yeah. the good thing about the, the route on elves is you can still... Okay, he's going for the double dodge. Elves. Makes the first, first one. one. Still going. Oh. oh. Dub skulls again? Dub skulls? No, rush on. No! <laughs> this game, honestly. And you know what now? This is awful, but true. Olivier has actually flushed out the rerolls for the half in one turn, so. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, he from, has. From 5D chess to 6D chess. Mm. That's unlucky. That was not that hard, was it? It was three, three, two, two with two rerolls. Yeah, yeah. I I do think Olivier's had some rotten luck at the start of this drive, so it's hard to weigh it up. But yeah, that was unlucky. Yep. No, he's only barely in range with the dancer. still tough. What's the thing about coming back is you're going to have to do some rushes. It's just a question of when you do them. Yep. And you've only got one reroll, so you probably have to dodge, you probably have to dodge the ball carry. Yep. Oh, I think you definitely do. Which we've never seen a snake before. <laughs> <laughs> so. The problem is if you, if you do the dodge with the ball carrier, then, then you've got to like make rushes to get in front, so maybe you don't have to. Maybe you just have to like Go up the sideline. Mm. Could go on the sideline and like, because this guy can only get one in front, right? Anyway, he can move up the side somehow. He's definitely going to move <laughs> down the side somehow. Yeah, and, uh, I think the ball has to go past that ward answer because that ward answer can't be your only scoring threat. Well, that you can be level with a dancer, can't you? You can be level with a dancer. Okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Talk about it. Maybe, maybe the maybe, yeah. tough. We're already down to we're into time back again, and on three minutes, by the way, with potential yeah. overtime to come. That's a hard half. That's a hard half. Mm. Dimmy with the top strats. Thank God we've got Dimmy here. That's all. I can <laughs> say. <laughs> Nobody else can uh, clown him up quite as well as Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He does do the dodge. 
Oh makes my it. god! <laughs> Wait, he never just did it for no reason. I, I'm he, stressed out and I'm not even playing. <laughs> he did it for no reason. That was a... <laughs> that was definitely a mistake from Olivier. Why is it for no reason? He, 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 was, he was like seven squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He didn't, he didn't go the eighth square. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> well, in which case, advanced skills burn the ones that wasn't used on the rush on the lineman there. There you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant stuff. I mean, and I can't blame him for playing like this because, you know, I was the same. I, it was, it was, it was, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. I think as well as like the stress of the pressure and like wanting to win, there's also the fact that this is like 11 at night for Olivier. True. Later. Nearly midnight for me, Olivier. Yeah. Because the time zone difference, so. I mean, I don't know, maybe he's a night owl. I, I would not want to play a game at this time. No, I wouldn't. Not well. Certainly not the most important game of my life. <laughs> this is also game three. Yep. Yeah. And there is there is one nice in the wall. Talking about saying it's not even a rush. It's just a yeah dodge. I think three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, dodge. Yeah. Dodge with dodge is obviously better than a rush with when you've got no rerolls. And a push puts it out of range, and then you've got to do more dice to score. So. Yep. Yeah. Hello, hey Maya. Hey Maya. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still I'm still not recovered. <laughs> Jimmy's still recovering from his own game, let alone this one. <laughs> and this game's been a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think Which so I'm glad for, because this whole series. <laughs> <laughs> The problem is just getting in front, right? Like this is the thing. The only thing in front is going to be the catcher, if it's you know if it gets there and makes the dodge, makes the one D. It's it's still like the only thing in front. Yeah. But I mean, well, it really depends on if it gets knocked down, doesn't it? If it gets a knockdown, I think it could get really complicated for Olivia with one reroll. Yep. Depends where it scatters. Yeah, one D pow scatters to the dancer who fails the catch, then to the ogre who catches it. <laughs> Easy. If this happens now, it's going to be an inquest. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic controls the narratives. Oh, I wish. Oh, no. Instant oh. fail. I think you don't roll anything except for the rushes now, right? Yeah. Well, no. you don't want things to die if it fails, but I think you don't want to risk anything else involves rolling a dice. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is sort of like the reverse of in the first game when Olivier got the blitz and you thought, wow, that's just going to absolutely kill him. I really thought this drive was toast for Olivier. Um, and then that double skull on the blitz had just changed everything. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. I mean, the, the thing, the thing I, you know, I, hate to, I hate to sound like a broken record. The thing that lets Olivier be under less pressure is he is Wood Elves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, he's he's yeah, got I movement mean, eight that's edge that's two plus cool. players that can that can get out of situations. Whereas Jay Lee was under the cosh with like you know movement four five players with Lona, it, it versus Olivier Delag with strip ball war dancers and stuff sure. like it was. The was still a two plus. Why well, he made the two plus? He was still just a knockdown away from potentially just having a three plus to score. Yeah, yeah, May, potentially, yeah, potentially. Poten big potentially. He needed the power. He needed the scatter and. Uh, and yeah, but I mean, it could have happened. It could have happened. Yeah, yeah the fling score's hard now, for sure, with, uh, without any re-rolls. Yeah, it's really difficult, again, to unpick it, because I think that Olivia had some rotten luck at the beginning. But Jay Lev, to be fair, had three different turns where he could have sacked the ball and, and rolled bad dice on all of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. Real bad dice on all of them. That's I, probably yeah. not cool. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> or even so, one so. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so too. I, you know, he could have four human blitzers <laughs> instead of rubbish dwarves, like rubbish dwarves <laughs> with brawler and armbar. <laughs> instead, he could have movement seven players with block. Like, God, there's so much. Like humans are so much better than all the other lions. Armbar has triggered in this game. 
<laughs> it has, it has, but so has movement forward and alone. <laughs> Dwarf blockers are the best position on those die. These aren't. These aren't dwarf blockers. These are old world dwarf blockers, and they don't have block and tackle. They I assume have... OWA had a better package than humans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know how many, how much more. Is this definitely the halfling one, or is he thinking about the catcher here? Uh, I mean, now he's got the quick snap. Uh, he's, mm. Oh, it's hard, though, isn't it? The sidestepper. No, it's oh, got yeah, to be. It's got to be. Yeah, thing. yeah. It's got to be the halfling. I missed the sidestep. You're right. I think there was two OWA. Is that right, Jimmy? The, uh, there was one oh, World no, Alliance, yeah. No, no, there was two. Two wasn't there. No. There was, one other, there was one that wasn't JLev. No, I think there was just one. Was it oh. just JLev? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So the only race which has 100% of its teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was two. Yeah, there was two. There was two. All the lines. There was two old world lions. There was one elf, one chaos, and one black orc. That was Mr. Page's seven mighty blow team, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I played the other old world alliance. Oh, my God. I literally played the other old world alliance. Oh, he's, he's, he's spent... He's spent... Okay. He, he's spent are we, a are we halfling... To do Maybe this, we are doing the catcher because we've fully surrounded, so we've got the first push now. Can we fully surround again? Okay, and then okay, hand off. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, and then you hand off to fill in the, the, the other square there. I like the effort, that yeah, great, yeah, I think that great. was the right play. Yeah, was that better though, odds wise, than just doing the halfling? Because you've got to do two four plus dodges still with that one. Uh, or don't you? No, maybe you don't need to do it, but you can blitz through because you haven't used your blitz yet. Yeah. That's why he likes it. Yeah. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, you really should have had three rerolls, but he had no choice, did he? He had three chances to sack the ball and loads of pressure on. Yeah. I think he was right to try and, you know, put in the rerolls to stop the score. Just to, can't win them all, can you? I, I, think, I think so, because the first one is a disaster for Olivier if it gets sacked and also could be a touchdown for Jalev. And the second one, the recovery wasn't obvious, but Olivier's drive was already a bit on thin ice because it was quite far back. So if you sack it there and make, make them have to recover it again, how many players are going to be able to move forward with it? Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I, I think it was worth three rolls on the um, on a gems. He got really unlucky. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. But now you're in a very tough spot as the OWA, definitely. Yep. Yeah, this okay, is okay, back really, as well. really like You can only win in overtime now, right? Mm -hmm. You're hoping for removals and then... And a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmigo says in chat, Jade have abandons halfling throw roots and it backfires. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good point. Got too big, forgot the people who got them there. <laughs> Chuck the fling immediately. <laughs> yeah. While he could do that, he definitely shouldn't. <laughs> well, not definitely, we don't know. We don't know until we get Blood Bowl Stockfish. <laughs> maybe that would say it. just go for the instant. Like, honestly, maybe go for the one turn or, or like the halfling toss. Maybe, maybe that's the way, right? Because... At the end of the day, you're still a World Alliance, and uh, this is going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, the, the things that I think make this matchup not so awful for the OWA are the removal possibility in big part, and there's 11 elves on the pitch, so that part of it hasn't worked at all. Um, along with the uh, missed sack opportunities as well. Oh, I hate blocking that way. Hmm. It looks like we're fighting the jump up tree again. I don't know why. Jelly just loves fighting the jump up tree. Yeah. <laughs> he just loves it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, full team is is horrible. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I agree to our commander. Yeah, this is. He's in. He's in a pickle. He's in a massive pickle already. Still, if he can get to overtime, there are some things that can favour them. Right, you're more likely to have got some removals, and also Olivier's clock is on two minutes already. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> So if you can get to that, maybe Olivier runs it out and he's under pressure. Yep. I mean, they're a bash team, aren't they? And bash teams can beat elves, right? We saw Sergal yeah. beat um, KFOG today. And so, like, you can do that sort of... Like, really, there's not that much difference between Sergal's Orc team and Jay Leaves or World Alliance. Like, realistically, this, there's not that much difference. This team has two mighty blowers. Sergal didn't, did he? <laughs> uh, no, only one. Only one. Um, I mean, it is an orc team though, with four strength force and so, like yeah. no, he had like nine block. Yeah, yeah. But um, the team is better, but the removal chances I think are higher with this one. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, because it's easier for him to like base up and stuff. But but essentially, like this, the, they they play the same way, and there's not that much difference mm -hmm. between them, right? Whereas if is it if Jay Leave was playing um, versus Sergal, then Sergal would just have a massive advantage and win easily because all oh, well, the lions, you know, are then terrible in the mirror, right? Like the, the bash mm -hmm. kind of mirror. So yeah, here they've got the angle of there being a, a racial kind of mini game in, in play. So yeah, they, they do have some advantages in this game. <laughs> Well, we want a shrubbery. Olivier will probably go with extreme aggression. <laughs> he does have eleven players, and he likes to go extreme aggression in general. So, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he will um, when he thinks the time is right. This is the point in the whole series where Olivier has been in front. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh... Very good point. Because <laughs> he felt like he was in front at the beginning, because obviously he had the blitz and stole the ball, but he never actually scored. So yeah, it's the first time. Hmm. Actually ahead. Mm -hmm. me. <laughs> well, Doctor the Doc, look, I can't not throw shade at all the lines, can I? I mean, <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> The best thing about it is it's not it's nothing personal to coaches. That's the best thing, right? It's not <laughs> nobody can take offence to it. I mean, maybe it's J Leaf can for making the terrible decision to choose all world alliance. But <laughs> I still haven't calmed down. No help. I still have not calmed down. I think J Leaf has said he would do differently if he could look again. But I would say like the other thing with it is just like I think you've talked about this before on streams. There's a thing about knowing teams better or worse as a coach, and JLev has played a bunch of OWA on tabletop, so he doesn't. He does play them better than most people would. Mm. Um, yeah. He definitely like understands them more than you would just like not having played them, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I was I had no idea about them, so that's that's mm. why I had some some practice games. That's the only team that I really cared about practice games for, because like. What the hell? Like, what the hell do they do, and what the hell do I do? So, uh, so yeah, I did. I did do that. It's a three D pal. Second match is nine o'clock tomorrow night. Microsoft. My my mouth is so dry. Wow. Dimmy with the ears. Right. I'm gonna be right back. This jump up tree ogre match. I mean, to be fair to Olivier, he's getting value now for the um, apple on that uh, tree, isn't he? That's definitely doing its job, just keeping the ogre stuck there. Yeah, that's the thing, Torquemada. Like, I, I only really know them from watching Jayla play them a little bit. Um, I haven't seen loads, so I don't really know. I've played them once on tabletop, um, and <laughs> I have to admit that was a game that annoyed me a little bit because the OWA had minis that I didn't find very easy to tell apart, and they scored because I didn't realize the catcher was a catcher because I didn't even know at that time, didn't know the team well enough to know they had a catcher. Um, so, like, it was a bit of a weird game that wasn't probably very representative. But that definitely, like, they seem to perform better than you'd think in tournaments and uh 
And I think probably part of that is because people don't know how to play against them, because they don't see them much. But they're also probably to do with tearing as well. Yeah, I think tearing is the main thing that mm. yeah, of course, can even be, begin to make them competitive. <laughs> but I, when I was looking at the rosters for this one, I thought, like, there was a moment where I was thinking I could talk myself into Renegades being competitive because of the tearing, just you've got the two big, the two block big guys. But I don't think anyone took them, did they? No, no. It's very much just like a, can I smash things before they get to play against me, Russia, though? So it's very risky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what um, Mr. Page went with, really, wasn't it? With the. Uh, yeah. All the mighty blow. I'm obviously massively pro tree Miko Salva, but J Love is adamant that the ogre is better on them and he's played them a lot more than I have. I mean I think the tree's definitely better on Wood Elves. <laughs> like, you know, if you yeah. could have an ogre on Wood Elves, I wouldn't dream of taking an ogre on Wood Elves, but no. I feel like the the ogre you want it like you want to be able to because it's all you've got. <laughs> as is the is the is the ogre of the lions, you've got an ogre that can run around and three dice people or two dice people with mighty blow and block, and then you, the way you win is by getting lucky with your ogre. So then having it a tree, and then you haven't got the hits with a tree. You like the tree can't make as many hits in the game as an ogre can because it yeah, because it gets stuck. Yeah, so it just seems worse to me. The tree is better at the halfling throw though because it can't bonehead. It is, yeah. 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 Which, as we've seen, is the uh, the number one play in the playbook, or it should be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe that's it, right? Maybe, maybe Jaylee should have taken on-the-ball thrower, right? And uh, pro-ogre. And, <laughs> um, like, sprint halfling. Like, genuinely. like, And, and then just don't use any rerolls on defense. And then you've got a one turn with three rerolls. Like, that's, that's a valid way to win. More, more. Put, a second, <laughs> put a second during the catcher for on-the-ball catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like honestly, uh, 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 sorry, a tree, yeah, a pro tree, and and then just and then just completely rely on the one turn because, you know, <laughs> what else do you have? <laughs> <laughs> do you think I might make a removal? I doubt it. Are you? I technically made a removal with a surf, didn't I, in my, in my other game? Pointless turn eight surf. I don't know why I made the second hit. I should have just taken the power. I've just realised I made that. I was guess I could have cast it. Second half. Yeah, yeah. You can go loads of guard, right? You could, you could go loads of guard. The, the reason I thought about them for uh, like the season two finals was you can go one, two, three, four, five, um, six guard. And then you can take a double as well, right? Yeah, so you can have like seven guard. Um, but even then, Elliot had the same idea. It's like, but even then, what? <laughs> so what? How do you play them? Like, also, you could stack sneaky, get dirty player in the season two finals. Um, so, so there are reasons to take them, and obviously, star caddies in tabletop is probably where they get most of the win rate from. But um, there is indeed a gaping hole. Let's see if Jay Leaf sees it and wants to go for it. They're not very difficult serve as well. Oh, I think he has to go middle, right? I think he has to go through. Yeah, the you're probably right. Yeah. Maybe the surf is bait. Actually, to be fair, you have to dodge before doing the surf. You don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a spicy surf. Yeah. And the problem yeah. is, he needs to move somebody around to get the assist on the tree. Well, it could take the block with the dwarf at the bottom, but of course it is one in nine risk. But then he wouldn't get the assist. He would, oh God, I can't speak. He wouldn't get the assist though, right? If he did that. Well, it's guard. Oh no, that oh, stood up. That stood, stood up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stood up. Yeah. 
So, the middle is open. And yeah, they've got a movement eight guy. Like we can do things, right? But like it's reliant on the package and what the package gets you. Otherwise, why aren't you just playing humans, right? Like humans have what like more than more than one catcher. They have an ogre. They have halflings. So like humans have all of that. Plus they've got four blitzers that are really good, right? Movement seven with guard. Like human blitzers are really good. Oh, okay, blitzing. This I don't. I don't like this blitz. But he gets the ball down, which is perfect. And the removal. Yeah, even more perfect. Wow. We might see the trademarked Olivier Dulac. Up, <laughs> up, base, base, base. This turn. Because this is a very exposed cage, isn't it? I think you've got to pressure it now. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the other thing they have got is the sure hands. So you don't really want to be go. Well, you don't want to go for the lead play as your first option ever anyway. Like you always want to try to not do a four plus, but you want to do it even less when there's a sure hands in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. Very lucky to get the bolt down. That was a, that was a really, really spicy blitz from J Lee. the knockdown yeah this is this is rough now like it was quite good maybe it was trap space it was quite good going there like you're getting forward but where, like now your ogre's kind of trapped on the tree here he's, he's not got the enough assists you've got to power that guy if you punch him to get the assist and then you've got to run through it like it's pretty difficult Thank you for that information, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> we can all sleep easily now. <laughs> As someone who lives not too far from Dimmy, it has got proper cold down here these last few days. Mm. I hadn't thought about the implications for Dimmy's feet until now, but <laughs> that'll be a big concern for me going forward. <laughs> Oh dear, here we go. Everything's based. And this is quite the puzzle to solve. I mean, it's solved by punching stuff, but... There's a lot of stuff to punch. And... Kind of have to start with the oak, don't you, to unlock everything. Well, I guess you can do that, but then... Well, that's not helped, actually, because now you've lost the... So you didn't need the assist. Yeah, you need the ogre to unlock the... Um, oh! And the ogre is going ahead. And that's probably well. no, uh, no. That's probably why he shouldn't have started with the troll slayer, right? The troll slayer could have one deed, um, mm -hmm. or not uphilled because obviously he lost him. So the 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 slayer could have tried to two D him in the two D mm -hmm. to uh, get these two freed. That is a rough. That is a rough bonehead. Oh, for a second there, I thought we were talking about I was saying I was doing a good job, and I raised him in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it is a twat magnet and it, it has magnetized four players this, this game which is pretty impressive it's a nice pal very nice armor break oh, and a and removal a okay. it's a fantastic removal it's huge if they get to overtime that stays out yep <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't really fishing for the uh, egg. <laughs> everyone to be nice. Thank you. <laughs> I think the play was to the ball here, right? Ball here and then punch there. But, um. Yeah, you can dodge this one and you can dodge there and it's. 
<sighs> oh, this has to be a reroll, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is. Oh, it's dodge scale. Sorry, it's yeah. a dodge scale. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he had to. He had to make it. Otherwise, he was in. Uh, he was in a lot of trouble. I kind of had to make that one as well. Yep, he kind of needs to make this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there you go, made all the dice rolls. Flip me. Yeah, you escaped that turn. Well done, Jay Lee. And he escaped the turn and, you know, removed a dancer. So he's only got three turns to score. Yeah, he's had to go back a bit as anything, but... Hmm. And the trolls there having to go on the floor, it's annoying, and the tree still being in the way. Yeah, yeah, it could have gone so much better, right? You could have powered the tree, you could have powered mm. that guy, and then everything would have looked a lot better. <laughs> he gets knocked back onto the, the tree. tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> just, just shove it all the way back. <laughs> the funniest thing is, Maya, is that it's a tree with jump up. <laughs> so it's it's also a fight that you basically can't win. <laughs> it's a fight that's really hard to get two dice on, and then it'll just it'll just jump back straight up. Like it seems wild to me to not just like put a lineman on it and run away. But there we are. It did KO itself in the first half. To be fair, it did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm with you. I think just a. That's exactly what those dwarf linemen are for, right? They're just high armor is the thing they've got. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Dot to the dog. That that that's what I'd do. But but again, Jay Lever is the one who's played more against uh, with, well, not against with or World Alliance. So. Oh. Yeah, that's what he thinks. Taking it off the ogre. Hmm. That's a choice. So now the ogre's freed up. Like you're tying up two, but I don't know if I like freeing the ogre up. No. And one can dodge away anyway, so. Yeah. Like I think you have to switch sides here, right? It's not easy to change sides, though, is it? Like, I just don't know what you do. I, I mean, huddle and wait for an eventual catch a hand off I guess I'll put more play more players on the tree <laughs> just keep hitting the tree oh my god there was one dice with the fail which it did but made the power that was really risky with the loner but maybe maybe you have to like maybe you'd see that point in the game where you have to take yeah. risk yeah I think there's nothing else really like it's it's the only way you can like switch sides right get back to yeah. kind of the centre rush there and you can kind of get into some kind of cage. Yeah, does have to, is, is gonna have to rush the ball, but yeah, he, he can he can do something here. Ooh, oh, he's gonna hand off rather than rush. Okay. But then he hasn't got the corner. Gone. Yeah, but he hasn't got the corner covered though by doing it that way. So I'm mm -hmm. not that big of a fan, and, and it's on strength two instead of strength three. But it, do, it is a one, one and it's I said it's actually more likely to fail as well. Just conserve oh, no. reroll. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> okay. <Not> like this. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just like having the handoff in my arsenal still, if possible, right? So. I would have definitely rather had the, the the catcher out here, rush with the ball, and then put the tackler in that corner. I 
can definitely see the advantage of having the movement eight on turn sixteen to make your choice with, but mm. But I I like having the option to hand off to it, you know. Do it later, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, J Lee playing Minecraft. <laughs> okay, that's actually a nice removal because like it's even though it's late, it's still two players that can come and help out somehow. Wow, dog to the dog. Are you are you implying that we're not humans? <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah, I think I think Rush was the way forward. Still not putting against Jadev here. I think he's he's giving himself a chance, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's in range. He's in range yeah. with two turns. Remove three elves. He's conserved his rerolls. So he's still got three rerolls for overtime if mm -hmm. he can score without using one. Conserved his time bank as well, which Olivier has not. Yes, yeah. Olivier very desperate on the time bank. And now we just need an arm bar. Killing a war dancer and <laughs> becomes favoured. <laughs> Jimmy, is, is this not just a classic ask for slippers for Christmas situation? <laughs> like that seems like it seems like you're close to Christmas. Time to get some slippers. I don't know how I've got so invested in Jimmy's cult feet now. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> it's making me think about my feet and thinking maybe I want thermal socks. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to, uh, is he going to, he can't jump in, can he? Surely not. Who's he blitzing? And he's got frenzy. I just don't know anything. Oh, Okay, just a long way around to those that and put the war dancer on the boy again. Yeah. Not scared by the fact that throw just killed the war dancer. Well, it didn't kill it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Two and a one as well, but um, mm. the uh, with the uh, with the uh, ogre as the spearhead here. First action ogre. Let's go. Things can happen, can't they? Things this can really I, happen. That's why I didn't like freeing up the ogre because Olivier's whole like. The thing he does so well is basing cages and making it hard for you to make comfortable turns forward. But the ogre, you just you can't base that out, right? Because it's strength five. Yeah. It's always going to have its two dice on you. Whereas when it was stuck on the tree, it wasn't. Wasn't doing that. Gets the knockdown. Which gets the two D for the dwarf. Gets a Kaz. And these two slow guys have moved up. So that's good. So the two people that were freed last turn with like with like removal are good. This is looking pretty decent. Pretty decent. Tell. Yeah, obviously tackle blitz. And the dancer. It's a part of me would want to reroll that, but you definitely shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the problem that he's got is. <laughs> Can't really go anywhere now. <laughs> Could just score, but I wouldn't recommend it. No. What he needed I mean, was a pow from the ogre, right? The board down and removal was great, but like he, he's not forward and he's not. Yeah. He can't be a like a elongated cage. He can't make an elongated cage with him. So if he pow the dancer, yeah, he, he just can't. He can't move forward. Yeah, he just can't. He just can't. And the problem is now he, he could get the uh, catcher pushed back, couldn't he? Yeah. Well, say if the catcher doesn't move up at all, get him up one square, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he has to go one. Oh. oh. If you're doing it, you need to do it before you did that. Yep. Yeah, I think he has to. I think he had to have done. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh God! Going. He's going now. Okay. Well, I, 
it's obviously not great because you're giving the else two turns, but also, like, if that's the only time you're going to score, it's better to score than not, right? Like, if you stayed where you were, I think there was a real chance you didn't have the chance to score on turn, I on turn uh, 16. I think he had to go forward exactly. one. I think he had to go forward one because I think the chance of Olivier scoring in two with two rerolls yeah. and a Wood Elf team is higher. Yeah, yeah. I guess the good thing is, what it did, so what he's got here for match equity is um, Olivier uses both rerolls and doesn't score. And doesn't score. <laughs> so, and also Olivier doesn't have a thrower, so, you know, he needs a decent kick. But, uh, yeah. Um, he's going to go someone just play for a second. Hello, Fluffy Burrito. It was just game one. It was my game one. So game one was scheduled for yesterday at nine, but Gorgo Bay had a power cut, so he couldn't play yesterday. So it was in the schedule as game two, but it wasn't game two. It was game one. I just hadn't changed two to one. I kind of hate the score. Like I do get, I do take the point of better to score than not score, but um, it's it's. Okay, the the dancer stayed out, but it's a top class player with Wood Elves, and you've got a World Alliance. So I don't think I don't think you stop this score. <laughs> Jim hates scoring and making cars. Yeah, <laughs> yep, to me. Well, don't staying out helps at least a little bit. It means you've got fewer options for the um. Blitz. Yeah, yeah, not terrible. <laughs> Everybody drink. <laughs> you can't drink when I throw shade on over because then you will just never stop. You will like you will you will hurt yourself if you if you drink that much. <laughs> I mean, the power cut's got nothing to do with living in poverty, Fluffy Burrito. With, with this wide line, is it not better to go through the middle than one sideline? You have to put somebody through the middle, yeah. I, I don't understand this. I hate this initial thing from Olivia, right? I'm, I'm putting the wrestler here and punching this guy and just getting something through the middle. That's really weird to just tag there. Like, I'd definitely be two dice blocking with wrestler. I think that's kind of insane not to be doing that. I don't, I don't really understand the wide line. Like, I, I guess you don't want to get those dwarves just stuck there doing nothing, but I feel like you've just opened that path through, which... Yeah, no, I don't like it either. It's going to have a whole cage. But I just don't understand where the pizza's coming, or... Hmm. Like, why isn't blocking the one in the middle with Russell? Like, I just don't... <laughs> It's really I guess, weird. I guess we're just going down the sideline and using the sidesteppers, but that means it's going to be a one dice split, so right? Yeah, which seems terrible. I guess, like, you get the tree onto the catcher and, like, sandwich the cat. No, no. Just wants to take out the uh, trolls there. Well, now I'm even more confused. <laughs> I mean, it is just that, isn't it? It's the one dice into one dice, which is fine. It's all it's all Wood Elf two pluses at the end, isn't it? <laughs> wow, I would I would not I would not call it fine. It seems so much better to go through the middle to me. I, I, so I, I I I'm with you. I would go through the middle, but if I'm looking at this now, I'm thinking, well, what he has done is he's taken a bunch of the. OWA out of the play, whereas if he went through the middle, all of them would be in the play. I mean, he's still fast, right? He could go one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He, he gets to there. Yeah, 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 you're right. No, I, 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 I agree with you anyway. Like, I, I think I would have gone through the middle. So I, mm. I don't fully get it. I'm just trying to like understand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This was also, like, like you one in 36s. Oh, yeah, okay. Also, I was thinking, wouldn't you prefer that this was on one of the side steppers, which it isn't? Yeah. And there's a reroll gone. There's a reroll gone. So, 
Jay Leave takes one of his two halflings that he's fielded and dodges through and then serves the ball. Oh. All jokes aside, I think it actually maybe was a mistake not to have halflings on here. Because yeah. you know that there's a good chance they're going to put it on the catches, just ring two. Yeah. I, w I would have had the centre covered and halflings there to try serves. <laughs> not even joking, yeah. But then, then you would have had to have it on a size step, uh, I guess, which is okay, but... Five plus for two doing Five the ball, plus is yeah. a six plus, starting at a three. Yeah, six plus, yeah. I think it's a six, but yeah. Yeah, with wrestle though, but I mean, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could hit. You could hit the. Uh, you can hit the side step. It's not easy to hit the side step. Oh, it's yet yeah, to one D, but I've never succeeded a one D in my life before. <laughs> or you could have put the ogre in the center, right? You could have had a wide line with an ogre in the center, so that would have like meant a tree block in the center to get that down, right? That would have been okay. I wouldn't have hated that. So then the wide line would have like done something right then if you the center one. Oh, it's a skull. Oh, instant skull. Double skull. Double skull. There you go. That could have been Olivier's blitz, but it wasn't. Oh, it feels like a sad end to an incredible three games. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you wanted to at least see the like the, the attempt at the dodge. Yes. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah. Yep, so if he powered it, it would have been a 5 plus for a, two, for a 2D. And if he, uh... Well, no, it wouldn't, because he decides to, to block it, right? So... Seems like a 6 plus dodging was better anyway. But, anyway, um... I guess it would have given him the jump. It would have given him the jump. He could have blocked the dodge in, but he couldn't have blocked the jump in, right? So, yeah, he would have had the jump if he didn't have the dodge. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, he would have had a five plus jump. It, it, either it was either a five plus dodge or a five plus jump. He would have had um, so three yeah. amazing games. Like these have been my favourite games to watch so far in the tournament. So both Olivier and Jaylev, and I appreciate for Jaylev, it will feel a lot sadder. Like you have my appreciation as someone who's uh, watching and casting. They've been brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it has been fantastic, and uh, it was he did he did better than I would have ever expected anybody with all of the lions to do. <laughs> I, I honestly think Jeff's a really good coach. Like I, I think he, um, I know because he's like in America, people don't see him as much like over here, but I, I do think he's a really good coach. <laughs> yeah, I thought he did, he did impress me with the uh, particularly the first game, right, where it looked it looked horrendous, and he he battled back, and then a lot of a lot of the defending in the second game as well. So. Uh, yeah, I thought he definitely played well, but um, ultimately, uh, you know, it's such it's such a rough matchup. Like he just didn't get he didn't dice him in any game, right? Like he didn't get any single game where he just he just removed half his team. If he'd removed half his team, he would have won one of the, won one of those, right? Yeah. He just didn't he didn't get that. Um, but there you go, Olivier Dulac goes through. Um, congratulations to him. Commiserations, Jay Leave. Thank you for joining me, Miss Feltry. Thanks for having me on. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.